All right, for this shortcut, what we're going to do is put our uh, iPad in study mode, right? To allow us to choose how much time we're going to study, put it in do not disturb mode, play some music, take it off do not disturb mode, so that we can get some studying done and not be distracted by notifications and pop-ups. All right, so I'm in my shortcuts app. I'm going to go ahead and hit the plus sign to get started. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to ask for input. And what that means, what we're going to do is we're going to prompt our iPads to ask us a question. So the first thing I want to do is I want to change it from text, and I actually want to make it into number. And then I'm going to ask a question however you want to ask it. So maybe uh, how many minutes do you want to study? All right. Now what I'm going to also hit then is share more. And this allows me to do a few things. One, to have a default. Do I have a time, an amount of time I like to study for? I'm going to go ahead and put that in. So I'm just going to go ahead and put 20. 20 minutes at a time, maybe take a break and then kind of run it again, right? So what I'm going to do, though, is also unselect allow decimal numbers and allow negative numbers. All right. The next thing I'm going to add is start timer. Go ahead and drag that in. So where's the start timer? What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to actually then look down to my selected variable bar, and I'm going to actually say provided input and see how it connected it to the time before. I want to make sure it is in minutes, and that is correct. Sometimes you do have to change it from seconds to minutes, so it just depends on what you've recently done. All right, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to add a date. So this is really just a behind the scenes move where I'm setting basically a variable, right? I just am saying this is the current date and that's what I want as it is already selected. It's essentially it's a variable. But now what I want to do is adjust that date and time, which is why I'm using it. So here I added my adjust date. I want to be add, which is true. Uh, for that middle bar where it currently says zero, I want to be provided input, right? Which is what we said before. I definitely need to switch it to minutes. All right. And then lastly, I want to make sure um, that it is date. Okay. But the thing I want to change in here is that where it says time format, I want to make that long. Good. So I made that long. So I've adjusted uh, my my uh, current date to 20 minutes later, right, based upon my input, right? So maybe it's not 20 minutes. It's whatever the input was. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set do not disturb mode. All right. And then instead of off, because I want to turn it on, I'm going to toggle that. And then instead of turned off, I'm going to choose time. So now that I have time in that last box, I'm actually going to choose adjusted date. And again, I'm going to make sure the time format is set to long and then done. All right. Now what I want to do is I actually, because I usually like to listen to music when I'm studying, uh, like lo-fi music without words to distract me. But sometimes I don't. So I want to make myself some options. So I'm going to actually choose from menu. All right. And then this is where I can ask myself another question. Like, uh, do you want music for your studying? All right. So then I have a few options. So this first prompt, I'm just going to then just go ahead and say yes. The next one's going to be no. So that basically makes two menus. And I'm not even going to use the no menu. <laughs> I'm not even going to worry about it. So yes is where I am worried about it. Because that's where I want to turn on kind of music. But if I'm using my music app, I don't want it just to pick up where I left off. I want it to actually select a specific playlist. And the first thing I want to do, just to make sure it works properly, is clear 
my like up next clear what's supposed to be coming clear my queue so I'm gonna go ahead and slide that in under y the yes menu then I'm gonna go ahead and say get playlist and this allows me to select the playlist and that's when I'm gonna go ahead and I I know what my playlist is perfect so I put that there as well now that I have cleared the the queue I have my playlist. That's when I then say play music. And then because I dragged it right underneath, it says play that playlist. But then I have a few options here. As you can see, it says show more. I do want it to shuffle because I like it when it starts a new song every time. And do I want to repeat. No, I don't need to repeat every time I run this because my place is too long, so it doesn't matter. But I just said none just because. All right. Uh, I'm actually done with actually building this shortcut. So I'm going to go over to the meatball menu at the top, and we're going to name it. All right. We can change it right however we want it to be. Perfect. Now, make sure things have permission, like music does here. Then we go ahead and say, done. And then if I go ahead and run this, and I don't have to do it here, I could do it with a widget, right, like you saw before. Um, but then I could go ahead and press uh, play. It's how long do I want to say for? Let's just say I want to say for uh, one minute. Done. So there we go. So as you can see, at the top it already put on it already put on Do Not Disturb mode. As you can see, the little half moon came up at the top there. And then I want to say, yes, I do want music for studying. And then it ran through, opened up my music. So what we could also see at is it actually does set your timer. So if I go ahead and go to my clock there, it, it did do that one minute timer as I kind of wanted it to. Right? So let's go back, though. Uh, let's just say I'm working on my iPad. I'm doing... I'm plenty of studying studious things. My timer is, is about up. And then at that same time, though, it should also turn off my do not disturb mode. I also wanted to leave the app to show you that you could leave the shortcuts app for this to actually happen. All right, so my, my timer is there. I'm going to go ahead and stop it as it is also off of the Do Not Disturb mode. So there we made our great shortcut to put your iPad in study mode.